Your dad is a pansy beta male who's allergic to discomfort, probably still wears a mask, and on a regular basis he gets pegged by your mom whose mind is degenerated by feminism. She's probably gotten at least five abortions and she's proud of them, but you being a soft, weak piece of is your fault, not theirs. So today is a sad day and I need something to distract myself from the sadness and uh, what is better to distract yourself from your sadness than conservative comedy. Now, black people, they use the N-word, don't they? We invented that! <laughs> so there is this guy, oh that's just his name, J.B. Sears, okay. He has, a, he has a wife? God, poor woman. Oh my god, she's so beautiful. I made a video about him a while ago because I was just so dumbfounded by him, you know? There is this conservative niche on YouTube and even though I don't like these people and I don't agree with what they're saying, I can at least to a certain extent understand the appeal if you agree with their values, right? Like Ben Shapiro, insufferable person, don't get me wrong, but there is something about his weird quirks and his weird cadence and, uh, and pseudo-intellectualism. J.P. Sears has a charisma of a sack of potatoes. He is n not, like, that hot. I don't want to sh shame anybody, shame. This is not my vibe, but like like Matt Wright, insufferable person. But you understand why he has gathered an audience for himself because he's a very good looking guy. Like, let's not pretend that looks don't matter. <laughs> well, he's a, he's, a, he's a dude who hasn't gotten a haircut since Reagan. His idea of comedy is putting on a wig, a blue wig, to depict a feminist or a liberal woman. He writes very like Darman esque scripts in a way that they are extremely predictable <laughs> and, and formulaic and they're not very funny and not like in the way oh I don't agree with that that's why it's not funny like Matt Rai for example there's no jokes in there it's just a <laughs> I'm gonna link the video that I that I made about him and it was a sketch where he put sanitary pad on his forehead and it was a video about transgender issues and transgender rights and it was the worst thing I've ever seen and since then this guy got even more popular he has three million subs man three million I have to wait until the boiler will stop boiling <clears throat> what was I talking about I had to take I have I have a boiler right next to my window so whatever it's you know boiling it's so freaking loud <laughs> and you can hear an audio so vividly i decided that i'm gonna take a break uh, but now i forgot what i was talking about <laughs> it's gonna be hard to edit anyways jp sears uploads a video a sketch comedy it's called they put an interview that they really don't want you to see probably because it's Boring. He uh, replaced Tucker Carlson with himself in the video, and he is interviewing our Lord and Savior. And it's the most tone deaf thing I've seen in a while. Starting with the fact that the, the dude didn't even have a courtesy to look up the date of when the war started. On February 22nd. I mean, it technically started back in 2014, but even we're talking about two years ago, it started on February 24th. I know I'm being petty, but like, dude, it's not live streaming. You could have looked it up. You like, you scripted this entire whatever this is he, 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 he didn't bother to look up the date to just you know be respectful even if you do support Putin and you think he did everything right people are still dying 2022 you began attacks on Ukraine in America we view this as probably the most stressful unjust act ever propagated against the LGBTQ community you see what I mean? How is that a joke? That's not a joke. That that doesn't even make sense. What? <laughs> okay, Putin has started war against LGBTQ community in Russia. LGBTQ is an extremist organization on the territory of Russian Federation. It's illegal to be gay. So yeah, there is war in LGBTQ community, but what does it have to do with Ukraine? Man just doesn't make any sense. He just says words in, in hopes that somehow a joke will appear 
Why did you do this to them? Well, if you understand the history of Russia and what you call Ukraine, you can see that Russia has a historic claim to parts of Western Ukraine. To understand this... Eastern Ukraine. Eastern. Do your research at least a little bit. Spent two minutes. But what the way? Ukraine belongs to us. In much the same way, if someone took a possession of yours from you lawfully, it still belongs to you and you would have every right to take it back. Okay, you took Texas from Mexico. Are you willing to give it back because it used to belong to Mexico? Huh? How are you just using that excuse? Putin uses that excuse. And we understand why, because it helps him to justify the war crimes that he's gonna make. But Americans cannot really be using that logic because it can work against you. That's because you're evil. Why do you suppose I'm so evil? Because that's what our media outlets tell everybody about you. Nope. Oh, not because he is a murderer, not because he annexed Crimea, not because he made Ukraine, not because he made it, made it illegal to be gay, not because he imprisoned a lot of politicians who are against him, not because he has been faking presidential elections for God knows how many years, not because he has been imprisoning people who are wearing gay rainbow uh, or Ukraine flag or protesting against the war, not because he hasn't been allowing any other candidates to partake in our election. And the list goes on. So all these things don't make him evil. It's the Western media that is making him evil. If that was the case, wouldn't all Russians love Putin? Or at least like respect him? What about those <laughs> people who protest? People who've immigrated? People who have been imprisoned? People who have been murdered? What about those people? Well, they're just stupid. Buying into Western propaganda? You think your Western propaganda is so strong? Or do you think Russian people are so dumb? Why do you insist on continuing this devastating war in Ukraine? Will you stop at nothing? We wanted to stop, but Zelensky refuses to negotiate. Why do you refuse to negotiate? I want to. Zelensky refuses. I wish you'd be willing to negotiate. What the f I am? I wish you would. You gotta watch the, the source material, my dude. It's not my like my interpretation. He openly said that I am willing to negotiate once Ukrainian army leaves Russian occupied territories. So basically he said, I would like U Ukrainian army to surrender and then I'll negotiate. Once I've like secured my victory, <laughs> then I'll negotiate. Shortly thereafter, the leader of the Wagner group had his jet explode mid flight and crash. Did you have anything to do with that? No. I think you did. No, that was just an unfortunate incident of a jet exploding mid-flight, as they do sometimes. Perhaps the jet's manufacturer had a new DEI initiative that caused it. DEI initiative? What the fuck is... Proactive and deliberate actions taken by organizations to promote diversity, equ uh, equity, and inclusion in the workspace. Yeah, all those women on the engineering team of the private jet just, they don't know how to engineer. They're, they're women. They're stupid, womanly, small womanly brain cannot handle the brain capacity that, that, that is required to build a jet. Like, only a man can do that. Oh, white man. A straight white man. Conservative straight white man can build a private jet. Everyone else. You start including people and then they they, they just explode, man. I, I, they just explode midair. Did you destroy the Nord Stream pipeline? You think I destroyed my own pipeline? Sure do. No, I did not. Well, if not you, then whom? The CIA. They said they didn't do it. Oh, well, they're probably being honest about it. I guess it must have been me then. Gotcha, Putin. It was the CIA. Then how does that mean you got me? Gotcha, because it proves that you're a liar. You just said it was you. Putin actually never lies. That's why he got divorced. But it's just this this Western Western media, they're misconstruing everything he's saying. <laughs> Я пенсионерка, у меня пенсия там 15 с хвостиком. Ну что я могу сказать?
сказать. Но он пьет, ладно, молодцы. The rest of the video. <laughs> the rest of the video is an ad, and for some reason he's naked. I mean, he's wearing underwear, but he's naked. I'm trying to phrase that in the in the like least offensive way, because I don't want to offend anyone, including JP Sears. But there is just something about him that is just so incredibly appalling to me. I don't know. It's not even his political views. It just seems kind of like pitiful to me. And I feel so bad for saying that, but there's just something so uncanny valley about him. Like he's trying to human, but he's failing. And he has, he, I mean, he, he clearly works out. He has like this very, you know, rip physique, which makes it worse for some reason. Like some people that just give you a the ick and you like sometimes it's not even their fault right okay it's a video that i've pre-watched because i was um, intrigued by his take on russian politics because obviously i give a shit i want to i want to see one of his like uh, uh blue wig thing okay if conservatives ran the schools let's see i just the wig thing you gotta see the way you gotta see the wig you gotta see the baby <laughs> your dad is a pansy beta male who's allergic to discomfort probably he still wears a mask. He does still wear a mask. And on a regular basis, he gets pegged by your mom whose mind is degenerated by feminism. King shaming much? What? What's wrong with pegging? If you, what? That's a wonderful activity, I guess. I don't know. I'm not a man. Why does that concern you? Do you want to get pegged? Do you, do you want us to talk to your wife? <laughs> it's okay to submit, not like in the Christian BS way. And like, we're doing, we're in this, we're trying something, you know? <laughs> She's probably gotten at least five abortions and she's proud of them. You're lucky you weren't. That's presumptuous of you. She got at least five abortions. Okay. You're saying that to a, in this scenario, he's saying that to a child, that your mother has gotten at least five abortions and you probably, or one of them, and you probably would have been one of them. Where did conservative get this notion that if you are pro-choice, first of all, it means that you have had like five abortions. I'm from choice. I've never had an abortion. And also that if you were to have an abortion, you will be proud of it. Where did that narrative come from? Like who who came up with that and who and who popularized it? Because it's so not true and it continues to be like regurgitated by different conservative speakers. And I feel like it just creates like this very skewed idea of pro-choice movement because it's it's not pro-abortion, it's pro-choice. So so that you have a choice. No one's proud of it, man. No one's proud of it. Like, you can be, God, it's so insensitive. You can be just so nonchalant about other people's quite like traumatic experiences and then shaming them for it and exaggerating. And it's just, it's just not cool. It's not cool. She's got nearly a triple digit body count because she doesn't respect herself and neither does anybody else, nor should they. Nor should they. So if you have a triple digit body count, you do not deserve to be respected. As a woman, by the way, as a man, you're a dog. We all deserve respect. That's how society functions on basic respect. And if you can make shit like that up, I can make shit like that up. I can say you, you, you're wearing an American flag parka, a sweatshirt, booty. People who wear American flag, hoodies do not deserve respect <laughs> who even like is the the the, the, the judge of of the respect giving jordan peterson like who do you talk to when it comes to do i deserve respect i'm a woman 30 years old zero abortions a double digit body count no kids not married not planning to get married do i deserve basic respect please tell me jordan peterson do i deserve basic respect I need to know. I need to know who else will tell me that. How will I how will I live my life without knowing whether or not I deserve basic human rights? Try it up. Stop crying. You have objectively weak parents. They have failed you. Yes, saying stop crying to a kid. It's it it that that's that shows how much experience you have dealing with children. 
but you being a soft, weak piece of is your fault, not theirs. How you are is your fault. You are talking to a child in this scenario. Will you actually say that to a child? <laughs> that it's your fault that you're weak and not your parents? I understand what he's alluding to, right? Like nowadays, people using like psychology uh, talk, right? To explain away their shitty behavior. Like, oh my, like, my parents did, did this to me. That's why I'm a terrible person. And like, no, take responsibility of your actions. You're an adult. But it only works when it's an adult. When it's a child, they don't have to take responsibility for their parents' influence on them because it's not their fault. They're children. My mom does make a lot of tofu. I, uh, I think it tastes good. Do you think David Goggins eats tofu? No. I think you've learned something here today. It's wrong with tofu. You know, like, whole entire, like, cultures eat tofu. Like, we eat bread. Like, it's just, like, part of their meal, regular basis. It's not something that Americans came up with two decades ago. It's a thing that have existed <laughs> for centuries, and, and, and it's, like, an, an integral part of, of, of some cuisines. Again, just the, the disrespect, <laughs> the level of disrespect where it's, other people with different political beliefs, with different genders, different races, different cultures, different ages. It's just, how do you live like that? Just not giving a shit about other people. Now looking ahead years down the road to after you graduate high school, what do you want to do? I want to go to college. Unless you want to be a loser your whole life, you should never go to college. You'll what? Wait, since when conservatives are against college? Because they're just indoctrination camps that control your mind and they they put you into tremendous debt, which is another way that they make you controllable. Okay, obviously the debt issue is 100% true. I didn't know college was bad in the conservative uh, ecosystem. Then what's better than going to college? Doing your own thinking, following your heart, and having the courage to always stand on your principles while bettering the lives of people around you. Thinking on your own. So instead of going to college and learning from experience that humanity have collected over centuries, you should do yourself, uh, make a shit ton of mistakes, lose a lot of time, money, and like other resources, and then hopefully maybe you'll succeed. Uh, pardon me, what? Why would you do that? <laughs> this is so dumb. Well, we've already said the Pledge of Allegiance three times today. Still not enough. Now quit acting like a girl, stand up, and put your hand over your heart. Quit acting like a girl, because girls are weak and stupid. <laughs> Never act like a girl. And people are laughing at this. Like, like, look at this. Your mom probably had five abortions. You're lucky you weren't one of them. Had me dying. How is that funny? Explain this to me. Where is the joke? How did you get this one past the YouTube censors? Way to go. You're so brave, JP, uh, JP Sears. I want to say JP Peterson for some reason. You're so brave, JP Sears, for saying such brave things on YouTube. Because in our day and age in America, we're all so prosecuted. We can't say anything bad. I had a, an, um, I had like a, a discussion of a sort on, on, on Facebook. I know, I know, I know. Uh, where like a similar kind of guy was arguing with me how Americans are so prosecuted. America is just so not free anymore. And you get like, you can get in trouble and you're censored everywhere. And I'm like, you just gotta go to Russia. Okay, I'm not gonna say that as a blanket statement because I don't want to put anyone in danger. <laughs> Unless you're like a member of LGBTQ or if you're willing to hide that because I'm sorry, you will have to, otherwise you will be in danger. Just go and see for yourself. Just go and see how it is. Like you, you people, you, you, you complaining about your censorship? That's not censorship. <laughs> That's private companies deciding what they don't wanna see on their platform. This is not persecution. Ba getting banned on Twitter is like getting banned from Cheesecake Factory. This is not censorship on like a, like a state level. <laughs> what censorship actually means is that if you post something that the government doesn't like, you go to jail. Right to jail, right away. Jail, that's censorship. That's like persecution. This is the amount of time this video is likely reported for hate speech makes the video even more valid and important. 
oh my god, they feel so marginalized and so oppressed. There's no hate speech in here. Like, he didn't say, you know, any bad words. He's just expressing his very stupid, uneducated, and uh, unsolicited opinions. You're allowed to do that. You're welcome to do that. But I'm also welcome to watch that and go like, huh? What? <laughs> That's GP, JP Sears for you. And uh, as a comedian and freedom fighter, sorry for exposing y'all to him. <laughs> if you've never heard of him, thanks for hanging out with me on this very sad day. Have a good weekend and um, watch good comedy. I got flowers yesterday. These are my favorite flowers, the irises. <laughs>